Ms. Marvel, welcome to The Daily Show. Thank you, thank you. Are you used to that yet? The fact that you are Ms. Marvel, and not just Ms. Marvel, by the no. way, not just Ms. Marvel, but you are officially, currently, the most liked show on Rotten Tomatoes in the I Marvel know. Universe. 95%. How does it feel? It feels great. It's weird that, like, people who doubted us, like, we're the underdogs now. And <laughs> so the amount of actuallys in a sentence, oh, it's actually pretty good. Actually, I think <laughs> I'm kind of liking it. So that's, that's my favorite part, yeah. You've been a fan for a long time. A hot minute. <laughs> yeah. I want to know, I want to know how, because everyone has a story about how they became a fan of one of the Marvel characters that not everybody knows about. Ooh, I mean, I was, like, six when Iron Man came out, so the MCU's always been in my life, and then, like, my high school's right across from a comic book shop, and I have a fattest crush on Robert Downey Jr., so I just, like, needed more Iron Man. <laughs> so yeah, I, was, I was, like, constantly reading more Invisible Iron Man, and then I picked up Iron Heart, and okay. then through her I found Kamala. And I was like, oh my god, brown person, who's this? And <laughs> fell in love with her. It feels like... I mean, it, it feels like you were made for this character. I, it was crazy. I felt like the comics were written about me, for me, and only me. Yeah, like it, it, it re no, it, it really does. It, like, how many stories can you say where you, where you go like, oh, who is this character? Okay, well, you know, here you have this girl who is born to immigrants from Pakistan, yeah. and then she's like living in this different world, and it's like you, you like you, you, you're that. That that's wild. Like Muslim superhero. Uh Fully. <laughs> it's crazy. This is. I, I hope you were just Ms. Marvel for every Halloween. That's what I would Ooh, do. I, I dressed up as her on Halloween when I was 15. Oh, you did? I fully manifested this. <laughs> yeah. Did people know who you were? No, I went to school and I was so excited. I had, like, my grandma helped me stitch the costume. And I went to school and everyone was like, it was a cool Flash costume, man. I was like, <laughs> are you kidding me? The lightning bolt doesn't mean Flash. But yeah, I had to go across the street by Ms. Marvel comic and just carry it with me so people knew who I was. You had to reference the... You realize that's never gonna happen again now, right? <laughs> really, that's, I mean, that's one of the coolest stories of all time. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the story's really great because some people, you know, feel like it's a different world. They'd be like, oh, how do you have a Muslim superhero? And, you know, she's from Pakistan. But everyone doesn't seem to understand that every hero comes from somewhere and they just have their story and that it's just, like, yeah. normal for them. I love how the show is seamless. I love how it's just her story and she's a superhero. Yeah, I think we've really, like, done what the comics did in organically incorporating diversity into her story. And it's not something that just, like, it's not 100% her personality being Muslim or being Pakistani. It's yes. just, she's this Avengers-loving fanfic writing dork who just happens to be Muslim and Pakistani. And that side of her kind of, you know, guides her. It's her moral code. And, and it uplifts her and elevates her story in a really unique way that we really haven't seen in the MCU. So I think that's cool. It is very yeah. cool. It's super cool. The powers are cool as well. That, OK, that was something I was intrigued by, because, like, like, I remember seeing some of the, the, the old comics of Ms. Marvel, and, and she had, like, stretching abilities. And yeah. I, I know you can't give anything away, but, in, you know, you have different powers in the beginning. It's like, you can, you can, like, shape shift things, and you can, you know? Yeah. Is that... Are, are they, is she gonna get, like, more powers, or is it... More powers? Yeah? There was purple light coming out of that. I'm not being ungrateful. I'm just well. saying... That sounded like I was just asking if she's gonna get, like, different... Are there, like, things that... You, you don't want to tell me anything. I see you. It premiered today, and then... Disney told me they're like, Iman's not gonna tell you anything if you ask her about I, it. I like and... swore an oath to Kevin Feige. I'm like, you will not get a Tom Holland out of me. Nothing's coming out. <laughs> no like... spoilers. Yeah. No spoilers whatsoever. So this is just the beginning. You realize this. You are. <laughs> I mean, this is such a fun, wild story. Yeah. You, 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 you got this role in one of the craziest ways possible. Because I heard a rumor that you heard about this from, like, a family member. They didn't call WhatsApp. you directly. WhatsApp. Which is, like, funny, because, like, brown people thrive on WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... <laughs> the fact that this happened through a WhatsApp forward... Wait, how? How? My, my aunt was a part of some brown group chat that she never opens, and one day she opened it, and someone had forwarded this casting call, and she sent it to me, and I'm like, look, this is what a scam is. Um... <laughs> We don't... I, I, I'm not an actor. I can't, like... It, it was fully a blank page that said, send headshot and resume here, Miss Marvel Casting. I was like, OK. Um, and then they sent self-tape and an, uh, sides for the self-tape and, and NDA. And I was like, oh, my God, it's real. I know exactly which comic books they pulled these scenes from. And so I wasn't going to do it just out of, like, sheer fear of failure. No, really? 
Yeah, and then like 3 a.m. hit the night it was due. I was like, oh, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? So I like don't know how self-taste works, so I recorded my own voice as the other character and then lowered the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounded like I was talking to someone and then just like acted off of my own voice. And then the next day I get a call, they're like, do you have a lawyer? We wanna fly you to LA. I was like, cool. Yeah.